Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me for today's pre-fall home tour. I'm very excited to just show you guys how all of my rooms flow together since this is basically one big room. You guys already know I don't have a lot of space but I try to do what I can with what I have to work with and I absolutely love how it came out and how everything just seems to flow together nicely at least in my opinion. I hope you guys think the same. If you guys do, if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube channel and we have the actual and exciting fall content coming up so that will be starting in my next video already so next friday i will have my first fall video i think we're gonna go do some shopping hopefully we find some things but anyways definitely get excited for that again don't forget to subscribe and yeah i hope you guys enjoy today's video i will have everything that I can have linked down below in the description box. I am going to take whatever time it takes to find everything that I can for you guys. If I don't go into detail as to a specific item you are wondering about, definitely just let me know down below in the comment box. But again, anything that I can find, I will have linked down below. And yeah, I think that is everything. Also, I will have the home decor hauls I did uh, previous to the decorating I linked down below and the decorating videos in case you guys want to see that in action but everything will be down below in the description box for you guys I hope you guys enjoy this video and I don't know I'm kind of feeling a little bit of a fall baking coming on so I might include that recipe at the end if you want to stick around for that and yeah that is everything let's go ahead and get started with this home tour i'm so excited to just show you guys how everything came together all right you guys while we are going to get started here in my entryway and my living room you guys will be able to tell a few things off the bat one of the newest additions that my living room has is my new carpet i am absolutely in love with this piece i actually got it on a really good sale i've gotten a lot of questions as to how i got it on sale and to be honest with you guys i I have no idea i got it for about 50 percent off over on target's website it is a studio mcgee and i absolutely love it another big change here is i just went ahead and i hung up two picture frames one on either side of the big window in my living room these pictures were taken by one of my friends and actually my neighbor she does such an amazing job and i just got them framed over at smallwood home i believe i will have them linked down below but i absolutely love the warmth that these picture frames bring especially to this wall given it is such a huge wall and i just love how they look hung up and i love the colors with all of my fall decor i think they just work perfectly i did get these pictures taken in october so that's probably why but again one of the other biggest changes in here is i switched out my farmhouse decor or lamp for this more modern looking one i got this off of target studio mcgee line and i also got this on major sale 50 percent off so around 35 dollars and those are primarily the biggest changes a few other little changes i did is i just moved stuff around so you guys will be able to see that my plant stand from ikea is actually on the opposite corner than it usually is and the blanket ladder is on the opposite corner as well and that's that comes to show you guys that you don't have to do anything major sometimes even switching things around or from one place to the other can really make a big change and other than that what I tried to incorporate into my living room were a lot of textures. So over on my couch, you will be able to see that I have three different type of throw blankets in three different colors. I was just really trying to mess with my color scheme and just try to include a little bit of every color. So I have a white cream one, a more rusted color one, and a nice like natural brown colored throw blanket. Same thing with my pillows. I 
just tried to incorporate all the colors I wanted from my color palette for this pretty fall look. All of my pillows are from a Target as well as my throw blankets and the leather pillow and the plaid cream pillow are actually pillow covers from Amazon. I will have those linked down below as well. So yeah, I just tried to include a lot of cozy items into my decor and a lot of textures. So I included a lot of textures with the like knitted blanket, the knitted pillow, the cream blanket has like these little pom-poms. So just incorporating textures in as many ways as I could. I think it really added that cozy touch to my couch. My couch is from Ashley Furniture Home Store as well as my side table and my coffee table. For my coffee table, I left things pretty simple and I just placed this beautiful gold tray and I just put a vintage book on top of it, a candle. This candle was definitely a splurge. It's from Anthropology, but I absolutely love it love it so much it smells so good and then just a beautiful ceramic vase with some greenery inside of it and that was it and over on my side table again just super simple I really liked the look of the new lamp so I left that simple just put a little picture frame with a book on top of it and that was basically it i love how simple it is and it just draws your eye up to the lamp which is what i wanted you to focus on so yeah that was basically what i did in my living area now moving on to my mantle I love this so much. You guys already know this mantle was built by my husband last year around Christmas. So this is the first time I am decorating it for pre-fall and I am so excited for fall because I have big things planned for this space. But for my pre-fall decor, I just pulled out a lot of vintage or thrifted books. I added some greenery. This beautiful greenery plant is from Target Studio McGee line this year. And then I just added some candlesticks. These are from Hobby Lobby and the candles on them are the tapered these wax candles from Hearth and Hand. I absolutely love that natural yellow color that they add. And again, just using some amber pieces. So I added an amber vase with some greenery and the cute little bottle gourds that I purchased off of Etsy. You guys will see that I threw them around here and there throughout my home. But I absolutely love the look and you know, it made me restrain from pulling out the pumpkins, but I still love how everything came out. And over in my entryway table, again, just kept things very simple. I pulled out that beautiful rustic brown vase I got from Target Studio McGee line. I added some of those green eucalyptus stems, put some more amber glass pieces next to it. So I had these beautiful amber glass candle holders from Hearth and Hand last year and I just pulled those out and I think they look beautiful next to that vase. Over on the other corner, I just have the three like raw iron candlesticks from Hobby Lobby without any candles. I think that the size of them is a statement in itself and it just balanced out the other side with the vase. So I thought that looked very beautiful. And for the bottom of it, again, just simple. I wasn't 100% in love with it, but I'm sure once I'm able to add a few more fall pieces, I will love it. So I just kept it simple, added a couple of corbels, a sign, a pillow right in front of it, as well as some other smaller pieces. But that was it for my living room. I absolutely love how it came out. Let me know if you have any questions as to any pieces I might have not mentioned. But let's go ahead and move into the dining room and coffee bar. I don't know for how long I can carry on Pretending that everything's alright 
Okay, friends, so now moving into my dining room. You guys already know this room also holds my coffee bar area. And as many of you guys know, my house is not huge. It is not the biggest. So all of the areas are right next to each other. So I try my best to make them all flow well together and just look like they belong in the same room because essentially that is what it is they are all in the same room so i try to incorporate the same colors same greenery same metals and same textures as well so i hope that that translates well to you guys because that is definitely what i try so over on my dining room table this table is from ashley furniture it has been discontinued since you now i get a lot of questions about it but I love it so much because the two accent chairs sitting on either side of the table actually have a beautiful leather detail and you guys I you guys know I love my leather so I love that so for the center of my table I just rolled out this table runner from hearth and hand and I added the other beautiful rustic brown vase I got from Target Studio McGee this one's just a little bit shorter but I really wanted to make a statement with this vase and the stems that I have inside of it so I love how that looked together and then just to add a little bit more of a tablescape feeling I went ahead and rolled up some napkins with the leather napkin ring holders I got from Hobby Lobby the napkins are from Target last year from the Hearth and Hall hearth and hand fall line and then I just went ahead and I placed the white picture I got from Hobby Lobby this year with some wooden utensils inside of it and then again just pulling that amber into this area I just placed this little amber canister and that was essentially it for my dining room table just love the statement that it gives and it's just so beautiful I really am happy with it Moving on to my coffee bar. You guys have seen me use a lot of these pieces so many times. This area is very functional for me. I actually do use this area every single day. I am a coffee lover 100%. I probably am around this area anywhere from three to five times a day. So I just love seeing all these pieces work together. And for any specific questions as to which, where each little piece is from, just let me know down below in the description box. But some of the bigger questions I got in my decorating video was the framed art the beautiful landscape is from a target studio mcgee line this year the wood candle holders are from target's threshold line but those were quite a while back i did recently see um, house and home stock something similar so if i can find something like them i will have it linked down below all the white little ceramic pieces you guys see on the shelf are from hobby lobby and the beautiful brass gold Gold candlesticks are from Target and they're from the threshold line as well and again the candles on them are that beeswax candle tapered candle from hearth in hand and they do have them available again this year so now for the pegs I went ahead and just added some mugs you guys know that that is my staple as well as some uh, kitchen towels I did recently purchase these two beautiful hobnail mugs I absolutely love them and this beautiful like oven pad or hot pad I think is what it's called I just love this one so much because it has the leather the little leather strap it's so hard to say those two words together but it has the leather strap with a little hint of brass on it and I got this from a local shop so I absolutely love it but yeah that is mainly it for my coffee bar area the lockers on the corner are from Hobby Lobby they just hold all of my mugs and coffee supplies and on top of it I just have some cake stands one of which is from hearth and hand and the other one is thrifted so that is it for the coffee bar and dining room area now let's go Go ahead and move into the kitchen. Down by the sea. Okay friends, so now moving on to my kitchen. You guys know that my absolute favorite area to decorate here is the two kitchen rods behind me. I absolutely love these and I am enjoying 
decorating them because we are actually going to be putting up some cabinets up on this wall so i will be saying bye to these in a little bit but anyways both of them are from amazon i purchased two of them and some of the staple pieces i always use to decorate them include the wooden cutting boards or seasonal kitchen towels i love including like my wooden kitchen utensils like the rolling pins that are up right now as well as that vintage hand mixer i got from hobby lobby and just any other piece that i feel belongs in the kitchen for example i added this golden pot for this pre-fall look and one of the main things that i love including is a, some type of greenery so i always try to find a way to add some greenery here since everything has to be hung it usually has to be inside of a basket of some sort but this time I actually found this beautiful leather pouch from Hobby Lobby and I thought that would be the perfect piece to just hang up and add some greenery again just using that same eucalyptus stem that I've been using around my house that is one thing that I love doing is whatever greenery I decide to go with I try to just drag it along each and every space of my home Sometimes I'll throw in here and there something different, but for the most part, I always stick to that one specific greenery and I just love it. It just makes things seem like they all belong together, like I said, but that is it for the kitchen rods aside from the apron that is hanging right next to them. That is from Hearth and Hand last year and I love it. I really love baking during the fall, so it's very functional to just have an apron I can get out, use, and then hang back on for decor so i love that area of the kitchen and then for my countertops i just did a few simple changes i changed out my crock and still you put my wooden utensils inside of it i added some amber with that amber canister and then that is basically it everything else on my counters are the same the Containers with my flour, sugar, and baking powder are from Kirkland's, and I love having these out because, again, I love baking. So I also have my KitchenAid out because, again, just accessible and easy to use when I am baking. And last and final thing I did in my kitchen was I switched out my soap dispensers for some amber ones. Ah, that was a that was a fly that that on my nose but anyways i just added some amber dispensers in my sink area and that was it for my kitchen Okay, friends so i absolutely could not keep myself from doing a little bit of baking and i recently found this recipe but i of course had to tweak it because there are certain things i wanted to try out for it and i absolutely love how it came out so i will go ahead and pop up the ingredients on the screen for you guys as well as have it down below in the description box you can either pause this video so you can write them down or again just go to the description box and they will be written down but it's so simple and easy all i did is i mixed the dry ingredients first and then i went ahead and i mixed the wet ingredients so the recipe originally called for just regular peanut butter but trust me you guys you have to do this with the crunchy peanut butter it really does make all the difference so i 100 percent recommend crunchy peanut butter if you want the same result but anyways i am just gonna go ahead and mix up the wet ingredients and once this is mixed up i will then go ahead and fold it into the dry ingredients and then we will go ahead and add the secret ingredient or the secret touch i would say so i will be with you guys in just a second the away 
Okay, so like I said, you want to go ahead and add just a teaspoon of honey and some chocolate chips. The honey really does make a difference when it comes to the softness of the cookie. So I 100% again am recommending just add that teaspoon of honey. It really is going to make a big difference. And that is it. You're then going to go ahead and roll this into little one inch balls on your pan and then you're going to flatten them out put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes depending on your oven of course and that is it they come out so yummy so soft and delicious for Alrighty friends, well that is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this home tour. I hope it gave you some inspiration for either your pre-fall home decor or your fall decor. I'm so excited to get started with some fall decor shopping. I'm not necessarily going to get rid of anything that is already up. I am only going to be switching things up and adding a few fall specific pieces. So I'm very excited to go out and shop with you guys in a Friday's video and see what we can find. And yeah, I'm really, really excited for fall. I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Ow, I hit my hat. Bye. Okay, you guys, so you guys already know there can't be a recipe or baking without a taste test. So Jonathan is gonna go ahead and do his honors. So. <laughs> Look at the chocolate chip, it just mm. melted. Tasting. <laughs> Why are you winking at me? <laughs> so you could blush. Is it good? Yeah. Delicious, huh? Almost as good as you. Baby! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you blushing though? Stop! Is it good? 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Do you know what it is? I would recommend you guys to get a Cassandra to make you these. <laughs> You're crazy. Do you know what's in them? Can you taste it? Chocolate chip, granola, mm -mm. oatmeal, mm -hmm. mm, brown sugar, mm -hmm. MSG. <laughs> babe! <laughs> I don't know, babe. Peanut butter oh, and peanuts. Wow. Scooter would love these. She would. Except the chocolate part. Don't give it to your dogs. If it was just peanut butter though. Yep. Well yay! That was a 10 out of 10.